Sometimes I wonder if I'm dreaming Or maybe caught up in a trance Don't even recognize the feeling that I got When we were walking hand in hand You looked at me, looking at you And there was nothing we could do To stop the moment from sweeping us up I think I want everything you got Line and I was caught I'm never ever gonna give you up Okay <laughs> We find ourselves here today In this beautiful mountain setting We are here to witness the marriage Of two people we have seen grown up While growing in love Wow <laughs> Each one <laughs> You might have gotten the wrong guy for this each one of you <laughs> have been invited to join in this celebration, not by chance, but by choice. And it again, it's not by chance, but by choice that you came here today. You were drawn, as Karina and John have been, by love. This is a celebration of the union of Karina and John, and we're here to join in that celebration and support this union but maybe even more so, this is a celebration of choosing love. During this celebration, think of the choice Queen and John have made to love one another. Think of the choice they've made to love you. During this celebration, think of the people you have chosen to love and those who have chosen to love you. And let us all celebrate them, and let's celebrate love itself. For what else is there but living, loving, and learning? Okay. So, uh, in the beginning, long before dinosaurs roamed the earth, I think Crean and John started planning this wedding. <laughs> <laughs> and I think... <laughs> I think I speak for all of us, especially them, when I say, it's about damn time. <laughs> and, and pardon my language, but talk about love is patient. Oh my gosh. Oh. Sorry, I don't want to skip anything. When you realize that you want to spend the rest of your life with somebody, you want the rest of your life to start as soon as possible. Well, Karina? And John, it's finally here. The first day of the rest of your lives together. And all of you are here, all of you are here on this first day to celebrate the sacred union between Karina and John today. And it is a celebration. A celebration not just of their union, but of their triumph. Yes, today is a celebration of Karina and John making their union official, finally. Uh, but it's also a celebration of the very triumph of their love that has carried them to this day. And let me be clear, this is a journey of a thousand steps. Karina and John know best of all that love does not just descend upon us like in the movies. It doesn't work like that. Love is instead created between two people with a thousand tiny acts. Love really is a labor of love. And those of you closest to Karina and John know this all too well. You know theirs was a patient and planned creation. <laughs> Very planned. <laughs> For nearly 12 years now, they have built their love with daily acts of service and vulnerability. And in doing so, they help to remind and teach those closest to them that love is not about how well you plan Valentine's Day. It's not a hallmark holiday or any other holiday for that matter. Love is really a thousand Tuesdays where you choose to ask your partner about the details of their day as Karina always does for John and to make, you make, and to make them tell you even though on many days they don't want to, which Karina also does <laughs> for John. It's answering the phone at work every time they call you, which is often a lot, as John always does for Karina when she calls 
a lot. <laughs> and coming up with new nicknames for you every time they call, which John also does. That's thousands of nicknames. But more importantly for both of them, it's thousands of things that make Tuesdays special. This is their triumph, and this is the gift that they give to all of us. To show us and teach us that love is created in the moments, the millions of small moments between the grand gestures. But after all that building, it is time for a grand gesture. And we're all here to celebrate your union, the path that has led to it, and the future ahead of you both. This day has been a long time coming. So Karina and, and John, are you, are you ready? Yeah. Good, OK. And, and uh, friends and family, are you ready to witness this? Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. OK. It's time for some vows. It is their words, their intentions, their vision that must define and shape their marriage. The couple has chosen to write their personal vows to express their love for one another and their vision for their lives together moving forward. So I call upon them now to state their promise before this group, the pledges that bind them together. John, oh, that's not you, John. That would be weird. All right. John, will you please read your vows? <clears throat> Karina, when I first met you, I thought that you were a quiet but sweet and nerdy girl. <laughs> Since, I've learned that only two of those things are true. <laughs> I want to thank you for choosing me as your high school sweetheart, your college boyfriend, and now your husband. As we've been together growing up and moving through these stages of life, You've helped me grow <clears throat> to trust people and to give them the benefit of the doubt. You've helped me see the best in people, and I owe all of my success to your patience and your love. You've helped me become the person that I am today. Every day, I, stri I strive to be as considerate, kind, and loving as you. You are the most selfless person that I've ever met, and I want to be like you when I grow up. <laughs> You are the most intelligent person, and I admire everything that you have accomplished, and I'm just so happy to be on this ride together and get to see all of the great things that you're doing now and that you're going to do. You've been there with me through some pretty dark times, and you've never failed to demonstrate that you love me, even when I'm at my worst, uh, so that I can blossom and give you my best. You inspire me to be the best version of myself, and I'm excited to continue to give you the best version of myself that I can be. Every time that you smile, you brighten my day. Your laughter is contagious, and it never fails to bring a smile to my face. Your touch, even after all this time, still gives me chills, and I find myself wanting to spend every moment that I have with you. I literally have had a hard time, I have a hard time sleeping without you by my side and I miss you when I leave for work in the morning. I'm always excited to greet you when you come home. I didn't know that it was possible for me to fall more in love with, with you every day, but every day, that's exactly what happens. I love both the big trips that we take together, exploring new cities and countries, which is easy to do, but I also love all the little mundane moments that we share together, whether that be cooking or grocery shopping or cuddling up on the couch to watch a new movie. We may have done things a little bit out of their traditional order, but it has allowed us to build the sturdiest of foundations together. And that foundation will be able to weather any th storm that life throws at us. I'm excited to move forward and to continue to explore life together. And I'm excited to make our, continue to make our house a home, to travel to every corner of the world, and to change our communities together for the better. I love that we savor the small things in life. I love that you smile as you talk about a new plant that you got. I love coming home and seeing that you got a new pair of shoes and excitedly tried them on even though you were running late, leaving a little bit of a mess in the, your wake. I love that we don't go to bed angry and that we are able to talk through anything that we are feeling with the other. I love that we are able to go, we are, pardon, I love that we are each other's go-to person. 
and that we are able to share anything with each other, even if it's uncomfortable. I love that we both care for those around us and we'll give our time and resources to support those that we care about. I love that even though we share so many of our values, we still consistently challenge the other to be better. And maybe even one day that we will eventually challenge the other to put away the laundry. <laughs> I promise to, no matter how much I dislike them, do the dishes when I know that you're having a taxing day. I promise to always refill our soap dispensers. <laughs> I will always try to navigate Netflix uh, with speed. And I promise <laughs> that when I don't, I'll turn over the remote. <laughs> I promise to always be here for you, to decompress when you've had a hard day and are overwhelmed. I promise to be your rock in the storms that life will throw at us and I promise to continue to love and support you no matter what. I promise to be here for you, to ground you when you're getting pulled in every direction, and I, I promise to give you cuddles when you need them. I promise to listen when you need me to listen, and to help when you need help. I also promise to try to remember the difference between those two. <laughs> I promise to support your salad and go addiction, <laughs> and lastly, I always promise to restart the washer after we forget <laughs> to change it. I don't expect our day-to-day -day life to change much after we're married. I do know one thing, though, and that is that I get to marry... Today, I'm getting to marry my best friend, and that together, nothing... Pardon. That together, there is nothing that we can't do. I'm excited not just for the big picture of the rest of our lives, but for every moment along the way. There's not another person that I would rather walk through life with. I'm so happy that you are my forever, and I love you more than words can express. Karina, will you please read your vows? John, I am so incredibly happy to be standing before you today and to about to become your wife. Twelve years ago this month in November 2010, you and I went on our first date as high schoolers. Over these 12 years, you've taught me so much about love, life, and relationships, and I make a commitment standing before you today to uphold these lessons you've taught me. You've taught me that true love, that healthy love, is that which fills up your well of self, fills it up so much that at times it's overflowing. But this sense of warmth, of comfort, of nourishment then creates a reality where every moment feels brighter and more wonderful because of this love. This love creates a fearlessness within oneself that one didn't know was there. A fearlessness which allows me to explore any endeavor I set my eyes on or any new educational program. <laughs> <laughs> Your love is one which invites adventure not only as a couple, but as individuals, as I discover new, beautiful parts of myself that I didn't know existed. Many years ago, I made you a piece of art to hang on your office wall. It still hangs there today and it has a quote on it that reads, every day I think it's impossible for me to love you more than I already do, yet every day you prove me wrong. And to this day, this rings so true for me, even after 12 years together. And I know it will continue to ring true for us for the rest of our lives. Standing before you, I am so absolutely thrilled to become your wife. It feels as if it wouldn't be possible for me to love you more than I already do, yet I know tomorrow you'll prove me wrong again. <laughs> you'll come up with another adorable and oddly food-related nickname for me. <laughs> you'll patiently help me with a homework assignment or project. You'll gently reach out to my mom, who has a tech-related question, or help one of our friends move. <laughs> Whatever it might be. I'm simply in awe of you every day. And I vow to try to convince you every day that you are worthy of such admiration because you are truly an exceptional human being, an inspiring partner, a loving brother and friend, a kind and patient son, and so much more. When I was a little girl, I used to daydream about my future partner. I'd watch romantic movies and shows and try to picture my dream partner. Growing up, I got messages that suggested that maybe I'm dreaming too big, that people like that just don't exist, or it's impossible for two people to meld that well together. And yet again, you proved them wrong. Because you surpass my wildest dreams. You are more than I ever thought I needed for myself, 
and your love towards me painted dreams bigger than I could have ever imagined for myself and my future partner. You truly are my best friend and soulmate. I stand before you today in deep, overwhelming, all-consuming love, admiration, and gratitude towards you and for all that you are and all that you will be. And I stand before you in full commitment of the life we will lead together. I vow to remind you of how absolutely brilliant you are. I vow to encourage you to follow your wildest dreams and to strive to support you just as well as you have supported me in all my dreams by not just cheering you on, but by showing up through action just as you've done for me countless times. I vow to prioritize you, our relationship, and our time together because the time we share together is time which I cherish so deeply and is so precious to us both. I vow to live in the present moment with you as much as I can because being in the present with you is a truly magical place to be. I vow to say yes more often than not when you inevitably ask for just five more minutes of cuddles. <laughs> I vow to stay committed every day to helping you love yourself as much as I love you, to get you to see yourself as I see you. I vow to listen, to really hear you, to always hold space for you to share your feelings, your doubts, your wildest dreams, your new technology obsession, <laughs> or the latest tech advancement you want for our house. <laughs> I vow to continue to be excited whenever I hear your voice and to be grateful that I'm the one you're sharing these thoughts with. I vow to trust you and to honor your words for the depth of integrity that is held within them. I vow to believe in us, in our ability to seek out new adventures, to bravely jump into the unknown together, to take on anything, and to create a life worth living every single day. You are one of the few things in this life that I am completely sure of. I truly have trouble putting our love into words. It feels like the kind of love that spills off the page and simply can't be contained. I've done my best here today to tell you how much I cherish you and adore you and how over the moon I am to be your wife. But I'm committed to continuing to show you how much I love you each and every day of our lives together. For that which cannot be said can be shown and demonstrated through deliberate acts of love and service to each other. To the future, Jonathan Tapscott Novoa, thank you for being my best friend and the partner of my wildest dreams for expanding my world into a gre greater reality than I thought possible for myself, and for creating everyday moments which are abundantly filled with love, laughter, and light. I love you. <laughs> I <root. laughs> oh, I know you want to cuddle. I know. <laughs> soon. Really soon. Forever. Oh, gosh. Do you, Jonathan, take Karina to be your lawfully wedded wife to live together in matrimony, to love her, to comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, in sorrow and in joy, to have and to hold from this day forward as long as you both shall live. I do. Do you, Karina, take Jonathan to be your lawfully wedded husband to live together in matrimony, to love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, in sorrow and in joy, to have and to hold from this day forward as long as you both shall live. I do. Good. <laughs> this point. So to symbolize the blending of those thousand acts of patience and kindness and understanding, the couple here has chosen to perform a sand ceremony where each will take their different colored sand and pour them into a, this single glass. This keepsake will be kept with them so that every day that they look upon this glass, they will be reminded of their union and promise that they make to each other today to live their lives together as one, where each act is singular and important and yet now inseparable from all the others as they now are inseparable. For those who love with heart and soul, there is no such thing as separation. Karina and John, these vessels filled with sand represent who you are as a whole, complex individual beings.
please lift your glasses and begin pouring. <laughs> Through the act of pouring your sand into this single glass, you are pouring yourselves into your newly founded marriage and life together. Just as these grains of sand can never be separated and poured again into individual containers, so will your marriage symbolize both the beauty that is each of you as individuals as well as your inseparability through marriage and love. Rings are also a symbol, a symbol of commitment. They are circles, circles of constant returning to one another. These rings today are special beyond measure because they are your symbols. You have imbued them with your unique expressions of love as you have your entire lives together thus far. May those expressions be everlasting and unbroken like these rings. Jake, the rings, please. John, please place this ring on Karina's fingers and repeat after me. Well, just one finger, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. You are the love of my life and my best friend. You are the love of my life and my best friend. Like this ring, my love will have no end. Like this ring, my love will have no end. I give you this ring as a constant reminder. I give you this ring as a constant reminder. That we face this world together as an unbreakable team. That we face this, as a constant reminder, <laughs> that we face this world together as an unbreakable team. <laughs> Through this ring, I offer you all that I have. Through this ring, I offer you all that I have. All that I am. All that I am. And all that I will be. And all that I will be. Karina, please place the ring on John's finger and repeat after me. You are the love of my life and my best friend. You are the love of my life and my best friend. Like this ring, my love will have no end. Like this ring, my love will have no end. I give you this ring as a constant reminder. I give you this ring as a constant reminder. That we will face this world together as an unbreakable team. That we will face this world together as an unbreakable team. Through this ring, I offer you all that I have. Through this ring, I offer you all that I have. All that I am. All that I am. And all that I will be. And all that I will be. Ooh. Karina and John, before we end, I'd like to give you some advice about starting. Of course, this advice is about something that you started long ago. But today is the first day of your official marriage to one another, and I have what I think are a few words of wisdom. Just a few. I know I should say something to you both like love is not, is not selfish and lecture you two about placing each other first. But for you two especially, I argue that love is very selfish and should be. You selfishly wanted to spend the rest of your lives with each other because that's what each of you wanted. Selfishness is a very important thing for keeping a marriage strong. And I tell you this both because you're frankly not very good at it at all. <laughs> You're great at caring about others, but not always so great about caring about yourselves. And while this seems like a saintly way to be, it's a recipe for trouble. It's true that much of the world needs to learn to be cons more considerate of others, but in your case, I think you need to learn to be more considerate of yourselves. Frankly, more selfish. So my three pieces of advice are love yourselves first. 
love each other second, and love the rest of the world third. <laughs> and do this because it's the best way to love everybody. Now you've both stated your intent. You've declared your commitment to one another. You've performed the unity sand ceremony. You've exchanged rings. And of course, long before this day, you two showed us that lovers don't finally meet somewhere. They're in each other all along. Oh, God. <laughs> it's, we're so close. <laughs> there is now only one thing left to do. <laughs> Uh, by the power vested in me by the great state of Arizona, I now pronounce you husband and wife. It's been a very, very long time coming. John, you may now kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and privilege to introduce you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Jonathan and Karina Tapscott Navoa. Now you found me, darling, you found me. I could never break away. You're my secret, I'm gonna keep it forever. I will stay. I want you to be, I want you to be. I want you to be my every day